Hello and welcome back to the FC Barcelona career mode here on FC24. I hope you guys are having a good day and I hope you guys are ready to get into episode 5 of season 6 here in this career mode. Obviously the first season with Barcelona. If you have not seen this career mode before, I'm glad you're here. And I hope you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button as well for me. We're on the road to 1k subscribers, so it would be lovely if you did. But that's up to you. So let's go ahead and get into this uh, episode. So far this season, 12 games into the La Liga season, sitting in second place. Obviously, very good, but we want to be in first. Villarreal having an incredible year. Can't do too much about that. We do play them a couple times here in a couple months, but not in this episode. So first up in this episode, we'll have a couple games in the league. Then we'll have an away game against Leipzig, which is pretty much must win. Uh, Osasuna, then Mallorca, and then another game in the Champions League against Rangers. And I think we're going to also get through this Almeria game. We might simulate that one. Not sure yet. But then in the next episode, we'll be playing Real Madrid. And then we will be into the January transfer window as well. And where we're, where we're going to be facing Villarreal a couple of times. And then, of course, the Super Cup as well. So it's going to be a jam-packed couple of next episodes. Uh, if you guys are enjoying, like I said, please be sure to like the video. And please be sure to leave your comments down below about who you want me to bring in in the January transfer window. If you want me to bring someone in. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and take a look at the squad now. Because there has been some comments left about players that we want to see leaving, things we want to do about the midfield specifically, and I actually really agree with those comments and kind of want to talk about that. So right now we've got Gravenberch and Viega in midfield. Viega's kind of playing forward more of as a cam, and Gravenberch playing deeper as more of a defensive midfielder alongside Emil Smithrow. And I'm happy with those three players, but we've got Elk News here as a backup. Uh, well, the goals and assists, of course, aren't showing up right now for some reason, but we'll go ahead and go back to this. El Canus, I mean, he's played in 10 games and has not done anything for us. I mean, really, at all. He's okay. I don't necessarily love using him. We have brought him in in late game situations, so he hasn't gotten a whole lot of game time. But 85 overall, he has, he's already been saying in the, in the chats that he doesn't want to be here too much more. Uh, he's kind of looking for a move away. So we're going to go ahead and add him to the transfer list before we even get into this next game and see if we can get some offers for him. We only have like $25 million in the transfer budget right now, 26 million. So if we can sell him, make 70, 60, 70 million, somewhere around there, um, we would obviously be closer up to that 100 million mark, and that would give us the ability to bring in a player if we want to, or a couple of players if we want to. I saw some comments about maybe bringing back Pedri, maybe bringing back Gavi if we can. I don't know if that's going to be possible just because they are you know, almost worth 200 million now at this point in the career mode. But if we can, we could try to. But all that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this first game against Athletic Bilbao. They're going to have this lineup going forward against us. Kozlowski, I believe, is our former player at Brighton. Yeah, I believe that's who that was. It looks like him. But anyways, that's the lineup they're going to go with. We are going to go with our strongest lineup. We have a two-week break after this game, I believe. So let's go ahead and get into it. But yeah, please be sure to leave your comments about anybody you want me to bring in and any moves you want to see made. Viega over the top already early on. Ansu Fati, fake shot. Oh, looking inside, not exactly who I wanted to go to. We do find Smith Rowe, though, and he finds the post, or the crossbar. Kolomowani's header over the crossbar as well. Kozlowski, inside pass to Broya. Broya with a shot low to Ter Stegen's right, but he will make the save. And it will be a corner here for Bilbao after 23 minutes. This was their first pretty much action of the game moving forward. And Ter Stegen will collect that corner. And we have a player out here, Ansu Fati. It's going to be a one-on-five, it looks like, or something like that. But we are going to push down here to this corner. Going to look to cut inside. And we're going to be dispossessed, of course. And Kozlowski is just absolutely tearing it up out here. Knocking... Hakimi off the ball, but again, loses control, and again, we regain possession. Gabri Viega with a ball over the top. Oh, what a beautiful pass. Kolomowani is going to be able to finish it off. What a pass from Gabri Viega there, and what a finish as well. Off of that pass, I did not think Kolomowani was really going to be able to get there before the defender, but <laughs> has lightning fast pace. Don't know why I ever doubted him. And a great finish as well from the man. Into the second half now, Bill Bilbao pushing forward very nicely. A three on two, but they decide to cross it. Doesn't work out well for them. Gabri Viega down here to Luis Enrique, who could have Kolomowani with a good pass here. Skips past the defender. Oh, heavy touch. We're going to try to chip. Ah, oh, God. 
Terrible, terrible shot. Hakimi inside here to Smith Rowe. Gonna go for a shot. Might as well. The defense is playing so far back for Bilbao. And Antufati is gonna try to get a tackle in here and does so well. We're gonna be able to lay this off to Gabri Viega, who lays it off to Smith Rowe. Ah, oh, and a good shot. And right before the corner off of that shot, we're going to go ahead and make some subs. Looks like Bilbao will as well. We're going to get Saleh on for Luis Enrique out on that right side. And then Chao Miranda up top for Kolo Mawani. Didn't really love the chip shot from Kolo Mawani and the effort. Araujo, wow. Nods that one in the air and Gabri Viega left alone at the back post. And able to fire that one in for a two-goal lead here after 67 minutes. Bilbao pushing forward here. Decent cross in. Broya going to end up in the net. But not really too many chances for Bilbao in this game. They've had a couple, but none of them really great. Saleh pushing forward here. Oh, I thought he was going to get caught in possession. Chao Miranda. We're going to have Ansu Fati over here. Oh, off the post. And a couple of minutes of added time gone by. The referee will blow his whistle. 2-0 win here at Athletic Bilbao. A good win for us and a good three points going into our next game. Wow, and we get back to the main screen after that game, and we get an email immediately about El Canus's release clause being met, which his release clause is $94.5 million. I don't know if we could actually get that much for him, only being an 85 overall. So I'm very okay with uh, that release clause being met. More money than I thought we could get for him. If we go take a look at the squad hub and the financials of the squad hub, I believe... Yeah, his market value is only 62 million. So I would say we could get maybe 75 to 80 for him. So 94.5 is perfectly fine with me from Newcastle United. And AC Milan have also met the release clause. So he, it looks like he's going to have his choice on what, what, what club he wants to end up going to. And again, perfectly fine either way. And it looks like he has chosen to join Newcastle United. 94.5 million in the budget for us. We're going to get an F rating for that, which... Just doesn't make sense. I mean, the player's release clause was lower than his value is what they say, but it's just not true at all. It's $32 million above his market value, actually. So, of course, EA is just broken. So, with Elkernus' release clause being met, we will go ahead and take him out of the club. We're not going to use him anymore. And he's played his last game for the club. We'll get Furman Lopez onto the bench. We might look into bringing a central midfielder for sure. You guys, again, leave your comments about who you want us to bring in. Uh, in this next game coming up, we are going to move Colomoni out to that right side, get Chao Miranda to start up top, and Luis Enrique can come off the bench. And I think we'll go with that. I kind of want to get Tom Bischoff some game time, but Smith Rowe and Gabri Viega have both been playing well the past few games, so we'll let them stay in. But we do have a game coming up in the midweek in the Champions League, so we'll make sure to rest as many players as we can throughout this game, as long as, of course, we are winning. So let's get into it. Oh, wow. He's just skipping past all of our players and scoring. All right, so six and a half minutes into this game, seven minutes into the game, they take a 1-0 lead. John Montiel with the goal. Excuse me, Joni Montiel. We didn't even see the name. Oh, and we just turn it over immediately. Not who we want to turn it over to either. A very solid player, Boniface. And again, I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right or not, but we get a tackle in with the Rajo. Ansu Fati. Looking for a pass out here to Kola Mawani. A little bit of a tough one. We find Chao Miranda. And it's right at the keeper and cleared out. Well, this is not where we want to be. Oh, Lukeba. I mean, his sliding challenges are honestly perfect. He does not miss. Except for the one time, of course. I gave him a penalty, but we don't got to talk about it. Kola Mawani pushing forward now. Loads of room. We're going to look inside early for Chao Miranda, who is being absolutely hounded. We have room to run. Nuno Mendez inside to Gabri Viega. Quick feet and a good turnaround. And room to shoot a little bit. Not really. Deflection and a corner. Oh, Montiel again. Just skipping past. Ends up with the ball. We're trying to be in front. I mean, that's just insane passing. Oh, two goal lead for Real Vicano. 47 minutes gone. And we are going to drastically need to improve just everything in this game so far. I mean, no one's in midfield is even pushing forward to try to tackle him. Yeah, but things need to drastically improve in this second half for us to even have a chance. But as of right now, it's not looking likely. Hakimi trying to get a tackle in. 
Oh, wow, we are so lucky. Oof. Very, very close to being a third goal for them early on in the second half. All right, almost 70 minutes gone now. They have a corner. Looks like we're going to be able to clear it out with Ansi Fati only as far as Castro, though. We're probably going to need to make some changes soon, but honestly, I just don't know who to make changes with. I mean, we're pretty much just going to have to give up if we make any changes because the players we're going to bring in are obviously a little bit lower level, but... <sighs> Another corner here. And this one is not going to be cleared out just yet. And we're going to go ahead and make five subs. We got pretty much, you know, most of our main players out and going to get them rest, I guess, for the last 15 minutes of the game. Not much we can do. And hopefully, I mean, maybe these players will turn this game around somehow. Ito with a great tackle. So one player is at least making an impact already. And then gives up the ball. Classic. And then there's going to be a cross in, and it'll be our possession. Lukeba, now playing left back. We get a pass in here to Chow Miranda. And Furman Lopez lays it off for Tom Bischoff, who does get one goal back. So with a little less than five minutes left to play, we could potentially get a draw out of this game. But it would have to be very lucky for sure. But 91 minutes gone, the referee will blow his whistle. We had the ball, but couldn't move forward. He would not allow us to, so... It is going to be a 2-1 loss here against Rayo Vallecano, Vi I believe is how you say it. Again, I'm going to butcher a lot of names. They kind of deserve the win in this game, which is just unfortunate heading into our next Champions League game. And that next game is going to be very, very important for our chances moving forward into the knockout rounds. Of course, we play RB Leipzig, not having a great, you know, four games so far in our Champions League group, but Leipzig are never an easy team to play. So we're going to go ahead and get into this one. We're going to go with our best lineup, of course. The same lineup we've been going with. Actually, we're going to go... Uh, should we stick with this one? I'm going to go with Chow Miranda out and Luis Enrique out on the right side. And we'll go with Cola Mwani up top. That's pretty much our best lineup. And benching Chow Miranda is kind of maybe an unpopular thing to do since he's scored the most goals for us. But that's just the way we got to go with this game. Uh, we're going to face Leipzig. Their lineup looks like this. I mean, just absolutely incredible. Lots of very, very big players on their team. And of course, you guys know our lineup, so we'll get into this one. Three points here will be massive for us. It will pretty much almost guarantee us through to the next round. It really depends on how Rangers and Porto play in this uh, fifth game as well. But we'll have to see how that is after the game's over. So I'll see you guys then after we hopefully beat Leipzig. Kimi pushing forward on this right side. Nowhere really to go just yet. We're going to look for a pass inside to Kolomowani, who finds Graven Birch. Nowhere to go with it, really. Decided to go for a shot. Bola Mawani, twisting and turning, finds Smith Rowe, finds Enrique, shot blocked away. Gavin Birch. Oh my goodness. Gabri Viega, shot saved. No way they're calling that a f penalty. Nuno Mendez going in for a tackle. And I guess getting the man, but also getting the ball. But yeah, mostly getting the man. I mean, it, it makes sense. But 37 minutes in, giving up, giving up a penalty. And now Vlaovic here to take it. We're going to go right. We go the right way. But Ter Stegen can't get to it. And that's a 1-0 lead for Leipzig after 38 minutes. Gabri Viega lays that off to Ansu Fati. Nowhere to go. But we do have Gabri Viega inside. Who has Kolomowani? Graven Birch, a shot, not a bad effort, but not a goal, of course. And the keeper makes a save for a corner. Ansu Fati swinging this one in. Kolomowani to it and right to the keeper again. Always keen pushing forward here and has numbers and lays that one off to Vlaovic, but the shot is luckily blocked. Oh, it has been a struggle this game. You know, Mendez forward to Viega to Kolomowani. Uh, not really where I wanted to go, but inside to Smith Rowe and a good shot. Again, saved. And it looks like Nuno Mendez has been injured pretty much all game, so we're going to go ahead and get him off, get Hiroki Ito on, but we'll move him inside and Lukeba outside. A little bit more pace and agility for Lukeba. 60 minutes gone here. We will have a corner as well off of that last shot. And again. Saved. Kolomowani hits it in the air, though, and it will be a goal kick. 
Well, Mwani holding it up well. Gary Viega pushing forward. Antufati is all by himself. And we'll finish that one. Level this game at one. With about 15 minutes maybe left to play. And we're not going to make any more subs. We're just leaving it at the one. Because these players are the better players. And what a pass from Viega. And what a finish from Fati. We need one more. We have to get one more. Evan Birch. Gabri Viega. Oh, Kola Mwani is through. And Kola Mwani will finish this one off. I think we have won the game. I think we have. RB Leipzig and their fans have to be very disappointed with this result. But we and our fans are going to be very ecstatic about the result because it gives us the best chance to go through to the next round. We'll go ahead and skip the replay. Only one or two minutes of out of time, probably. Colombo is going to push forward here. Two minutes of out of time. So it looks like they will be able to move forward. I mean, all of my players feel so slow. Calabria makes a nice move to get around Lukeba. And will cross it in towards the back post. And Williams got to it, but headed it out. And it looks like the referee will blow his whistle for full time, which means we will get three points and a win here at RB Leipzig. And hopefully, fingers crossed, guarantee ourselves knockout round football here in the Champions League. And Nuno Mendes was injured, but it looks like it'll only be a five-day injury, so not too bad there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Champions League standings after that game. And it looks like we have regained first place in our group. Porto and Rangers drew. So now all we need to do in our last game against Rangers is draw. We can't lose to them because if we lose by three goals or more, their goal difference would be better than ours. So we've got to win our next game or draw. And I think that's I think we're capable of doing that. I mean, Rangers are a good side, but they're not as good as us. So we're going to be looking forward to that. We've got a monthly scout report here. Let's see if anybody comes back that looks like they're going to be worth it. Perhaps this goalkeeper, but we're not really interested in goalkeepers. And maybe this guy, but I'm not too interested. in 15-year-olds especially, they're just not going to be good enough to be in the team unless they're really good. So we're going to go ahead and reject all of these players. And it does look like Villarreal have lost both of their last two games to help close that gap to only five points now. We're only one ahead of Atletico Madrid, but still overall having a pretty solid season. Atletico Madrid only have, have not even lost a game yet. Still, that's incredible. But yeah, only five points behind Villarreal. The gap is closing. I did want to go ahead and show you guys the top scorers in La Liga as of right now. Looks like Chao Miranda is sitting in sixth place. I guess kind of tied for fourth on eight goals so far. Having a pretty solid season. I don't know if we're going to have anybody. Smith Rowe with five. So, Oh, and Kola Mawani, of course, with nine, uh, with six as well. So a few of our players in there. As far as assists goes, Ansu Fati's got five sitting in fifth place. Smith Rowe has three as well sitting down there. And then Bischoff as well with three. Bischoff, Tom Bischoff's honestly been playing very well for us overall. As you see, Ter Stegen there in, in third place in clean sheets. But yeah, Tom Bischoff's been pretty good for us. And he is going to get a start in this next game for us, actually. But as you can see in Osasuna's lineup, they have Andy Dioff, former player of ours at Brighton, sitting in their midfield with Danny Ceballos. So it's going to be interesting to see how he performs against us. This will be our lineup for our game against them. We're going to start Saleh out on the left side as well as uh, Tom Bischoff in midfield. And we'll get Ito in defense with Luke out on the left, uh, left back position since uh, Nuno Mendez is injured. But yeah, we're going to get in this game and see how Andy Diaw plays against us. I, I hope he doesn't score a banger against us. That'd be insane. I really hope Andy Diaw doesn't score a banger because that would just be very hard to watch. It would be a little bit bittersweet. I mean, Neil with a pass to Andy Diaw. Lays it off for Danny Ceballos. Who lays it off. And Andy Diaw. Oh, I knew this would happen. I knew he was going to score against us. It, it was just fate, wasn't it? It, it was destiny. But Andy Dioff would get a goal against us. Danny Ceballos, back heel pass. And then laid off right to him. Not much we can do about it. All right, grabbing Birch here, laying, laying it off to Mawani. All of our players are stacked up over here, which might not be the worst thing. As we find Salah, who's going to stick with it. Oh, and nearly find himself a goal. Hakimi inside here to Bischoff. Gabri Viega, left-footed shot off the post, of course. Olmawani, we've got Salah inside. He turns it around, lays it off to Chow. Chow finishes it off. 1-1 here against Osasuna. 
after 32 minutes. Excellent passing there by the boys. And a great finish by Chow, who continues to score goals for us. Hakimi. I see Saleh. Oh, what a cross from Hakimi. And what a header from Saleh to make it 2-1 and to give us a one-goal lead. Still 17 years old and bagging goals for us in La Liga. He has a very bright future. And just, oh, I mean, I love using him. He's got 98 pace, by the way. I don't know if anybody knew that, but he is absolutely rapid. Thiago Thomas laying it off to Andy Dioff. Oh, he might score a hat-trick against us. I mean, nobody seems to want to be in front of him. And I also, I mean, no one, no one in midfield is even tracking him. We're all just watching the ball. Of course. 67 minutes gone here. We're going to get a sub in. We're going to get Mbamba in for Gravenberch. Mbamba hasn't been able to play too much uh, throughout this career mode so far throughout this season, but we're going to try to get him some game time here and see if he can make a difference in defense for us. Ambishoff pushing forward. Pass over here to Akimi. Lay it off for Chow. Great team passing and a great goal for Chow Miranda to score. 3-2 here against Osasuna after 83 minutes. And we'll get some subs on after that one. Get Bischoff off, and we're going to get uh, Kola Mawani off as well. Bischoff's going to come off for Thomas Partey. And we're going to move him to a double pivot defensive midfield role with Mbamba and see how well that goes for the final 10 minutes of this game. Mbamba with a great tackle there. And it looks like we might be able to get on a run. We're going to look inside for Chow Miranda. Not a great pass. But I think that wastes enough time, and the referee will blow his whistle. 3-2 win, Hero for Osasuna, and we get three points in the bag. Maybe closing that gap on Villarreal a little bit more. And the gap is closing. Only three points behind Villarreal now after 15 games, so almost halfway through the season already. Up next, we got Mallorca, who are sitting down in 10th place. Only on 20 points, but level with Osasuna. Having a pretty solid season, but I think we're going to go ahead and simulate this game even though it's a very big game for us, really. But we're going to simulate this one just so we can get through the career mode a little bit quicker like we always do. And we're going to get Ito off here for uh, Nuno Mendez. We're going to have our best lineup in, even with Rangers coming up in just a few days. And we'll go ahead and get into the simulation for this one. And we will do a quick sim like always. This is going to be Mallorca's lineup against us. Solid lineup, but very beatable for our quality of the quality of our team. So we'll go ahead and simulate and get a 3-2 win. Absolutely perfect. Ensu Fati with a second-minute goal and then misses a penalty, I believe, is in, in the 14th minute. Baba with one back. Araujo with one for us. Bischoff with a red card. Chao Miranda with another one, and then they get one back. 3-2, though, the final score. And we'll be missing Ch Tom Bischoff for the next La Liga game, but that'll be all right. And just before our game against Rangers, I will go ahead and show you guys the squad stats. Chao Miranda, best scorer for us by far. Not even close. Double the goals of Kolomoani in second place. I like the rest of our team, but none of them can score quite like Chao Miranda can. And then, of course, assist-wise, Gabriel Viega performing well, as well as Ansu Fati getting a lot of uh, assists for us. Ansu Fati's been playing pretty good, but we might expect a little bit more from him. I don't know. With Chao Miranda scoring as much as he is, it's kind of been okay. But we'll go ahead and get into this next game. Biggest game of the episode now. Rangers, final game of the group stage. A win guarantees us through. A draw guarantees us through. So that's what we need. We'll take a look at the other groups a little bit, but we'll go ahead and do a roundup on that after this game is over. So we'll go ahead and get into this one. Rangers lineup as follows. Danilo up top, very solid. Lowry, very good against this last game. But overall, our side is better. So we deserve to win. Or do we? We'll, we'll find out. Lukeba with a good tackle. And we're going to be away. Smith Rowe with a pass to Chao Miranda. And Chao Miranda with a finish five minutes in. Lukeba with a great tackle there to make sure that they cannot move forward. And then Smith Rowe with a great pass to Chao Miranda. He just continues to score and score and score and score. And that's what he does. And he's really good at it. Well, that's a pretty good way to start this game off, don't you say? I mean, you can't ask for much better from the team through six minutes in the game. But this is not looking good already. Lowry skipping through our defense, finding a pass to Danilo, who gets a shot away, and Ter Stegen gets a save on it.
Oh my god. Oh, that's such a bad mistake. I mean, just trying to dribble it away with Hakimi and getting caught in possession in the six-yard box almost. Just need to clear it out. Not really sure what we're doing and why we're doing it. Hakimi with a great tackle on Cantwell, but I thought I could just turn away from him. And Cantwell's just way too fast for even Hakimi, apparently. Jal Miranda over the top over here to Nuno Mendez, I believe. Yep. And he turns inside, finds a pass to Ansu Fati. Ooh, wow. Good shot, but not good enough. Lowry pushing forward here on the edge of the box, finds a pass to Lundstrom, who initially tries to go for a pass, rebounds back to him, and goes gets a shot away. Tristegan with a decent save. And now a corner. Uh, okay, yeah, we get it away. Raven Birch through to Ansu Fati. I'm going to look out here for Nuno Mendez. Got Riviega. Chow Miranda. Chow Miranda with a finish. 50 minutes gone. Another goal. 2-1 here against Rangers after 50 minutes. And, I mean, great passing. There's not much more to say about it. Nuno Mendez inside to Gabriel Viega, who could have easily took a shot, but decided to wait for Chow Miranda and get the easy finish for a one-goal lead. Uh-oh. Good pass to Lowry. But a great, great save from Ter Stegen. Keeps this game at a one-goal advantage for us. I was thinking about passing that to Chow Miranda, but it didn't look likely to get through. We do, do get it to him now, who will look for Smith Rowe. Ah, good effort. Ebre Viega pushing forward. We have Ansu Fati out here on the wing. We'll look to turn this one back inside. Maybe turn back outside again and look for Chow Miranda. A decent effort, but good defense by Rangers. Ooh. Gabri Viega with a sliding challenge. Not a great effort, but I thought he got the ball, kind of. We're going to go ahead and make a save after... Or not make a save. Make a, a change after that challenge. We're going to go ahead and get Tamir Saleh on for, I believe it was Ansu Fati. They're going to have a free kick, obviously, and take it short. Hurtado pushing through the middle of our defense. Lukeba just didn't step up. And 78 minutes gone. This game is level again against Rangers. 2-2. So, still work to do. I mean, if we keep this game level at a draw, that's perfectly fine. But our defense is so shaky sometimes that I would much rather just be in the lead. John Miranda finds a pass to Hakimi. I'm going to look towards that back post. A little bit far, but Sally's going to end up with it. Finds a pass to Viega. Chow Miranda. Uh, sort of room to shoot. But it looks like we're going to almost waste enough time. I'm going to go ahead and get this cross in. Wow. Nearly the win. Three points would obviously still be big for us. So Gravenbirch, if you can find someone here, that would be absolutely fantastic. Kolomowani. Not a good enough effort, but... A win, not a win, a draw here against Rangers means that we will be through the group, but I, you know, it's going to be tough to see whether or not we're in first or second place. And we end up in first place, even with a draw in the final game. Porto lose their game to Leipzig on the final match day 2-0. So that works out well for us. It looks like, let's see if everybody else has played their games. Looks like most everybody has. Sociedad and Befica going through their group. Milan missing out of group A. Roma and Brighton going through. Brighton nearly having a scare. Let's see if their, their last day, they drew with Apoel. And if Salzburg would have won, they would have gone through. So very, very dicey there for Brighton towards the end of the group stage. But they get through. Atletico Madrid and Celtic going through over Bayern and PSV. I mean, Celtic, I would have picked to probably finish fourth out of that group. But PSV, I mean, obviously didn't even get a single point. But over Bayern, that's crazy. Of course, ourselves and Porto going through our group. PSG and Gank going through. Liverpool missing out of Group E. Leverkusen and Man United through the Group F. That one makes sense. Juventus and Lons out of Group G. Dortmund <laughs> not going to... Oh, wait. These games haven't finished. These are only on the fifth games. Okay, let's simulate a few days and see what happens. We're going to go ahead and get into this next game anyways. We're going to simulate this final game of the episode... And we will have an El Clasico to start off the next episode 
as well as the January transfer window. So again, please be sure to leave your comments about what we're going to do. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look back at the Champions League and back at those last four groups. And it looks like we can already see what happens here. Let's go to the group stage. Group E, PSG and Liverpool. So Liverpool does end up going through. Good to see from them. Man United, Leverkusen, Juventus and Dortmund ends up going through. So big changes on the final day. And then Inter and Man City through Group H. Real Madrid in last place. So we will not see our El Clasico foes in the round of 16 or in any of the rounds in the Champions League in the knockout groups. Looks like we will be facing Liverpool in our round of 16 matchup. A very terrifying opponent, but an opponent we are prone to seeing in the uh, we were prone to seeing in the Premier League with Brighton. So looks like they're going to face Inter, Celtic, Juventus, Leverkusen, Atletico Madrid. Some very big matchups here in the round of 16. It's going to be exciting to see what happens. It's going to be exciting to see if we can get past Liverpool. It's going to be tough. I know that for sure. But nonetheless, we have one final game in the episode. Currently sitting in second place, seven points above third, three behind Villarreal still. Our opponents, Almeria, are sitting down in 18th. So again, an opponent we should be beating. We're going to simulate this game as well. This will be their lineup in our game. Honestly, not not the worst. I mean, some decently solid players in there. Melia and Goal has obviously given us problems before at Brighton. But we'll go with our best lineup. We'll get a quick sim in. And it looks like we have some players missing on the bench. Oh, yes. Tom Bischoff, of course, could not play because of his red card. So we'll get him out. And we'll now hit the quick sim. And we'll win 3-2 again. So Ansu Fati and Chao Miranda with goals as well as Nuno Mendes for us. Archer and Arribas with goals for them. Arribas also missing a penalty, I believe. So another 3-2 win in a simulated game. Not sure why that's the score line, but we'll take it. I don't like giving up two goals every game, but if we have to do that to win, then that's what we have to do. So that's going to do it for today's episode. And in the next episode, like I said, first up, El Clasico against Real Madrid. And then lots of big games. Via Real twice. Sociedad in the Super Cup. Osasuna again. Mallorca. I mean, we'll be all the way through the January transfer window. And then in the episode after that, we'll be into the knockout stages of the Champions League. So big episode after big episode. It doesn't get any better than this, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys are enjoying the career mode. Please be sure to leave a like. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave your comments about changes you want to make to the team, how you feel about the team in general, and how you feel about the career mode. And if you if you want me to change anything up about these videos, please give me some ideas. I will obviously want to make them good enough for you guys to want to come back and watch them. So always leave your comments. I appreciate your support. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.